Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are we, friends? Are we good? That's good. And if you're not okay, that's okay too. Listen to this, right? I know a lot of people get frustrated or annoyed with the fact that I wear singlets all the time. I try not to wear them in my video, but we are in the middle of like what feels like a god dang heat wave here in Australia. Hence why you are most likely hearing a fan hearing an air conditioner because my air conditioner needs to be regassed and it's holidays here so it's been so busy but you guys are not here for that you are here for what is in the title what is in the title is what i did not expect in 2022 by the way happy new year i did not expect this i was gobsmacked i didn't even know because my computer has been broken that i've been like not really on youtube i've been watching two broke girls and if you want a video on like the history of two broke girls and like the earlier seasons and stuff and like how they would not fly these days but anyway <clears throat> so i haven't been knowing anything so marissa not on the housewife go subscribe sent me a message saying oh my god creep show art bah, 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 made a video a comeback video so I've watched it um, and we can make this into a trip down content lane if you guys wanted where we look at actually what she's saying in that video and the contradictions towards other videos and other things if you want to or this could be our final sign off see you later sayonara ciao arrivederci to Shannon um, anyway so I watched the video and I'll be completely transparent with you. I obviously didn't go into this video thinking that Shannon was going to redeem herself and have, you know, this redemption arc, as we call it, on YouTube. I, I, I kind of was like, okay, the title. The title. Out of all the things that you are accused of, you decided to just go after Emily Artful instead of, like, talking about Kiwi Farms and what you did to all of your friends. Um, ready to glare, so on and so forth. Uh, Edwin's generation. Every, like, you didn't fucking, uh, like, talk about any of that. You talked about your sister, and then you spoke about Emily Artful. Now, what you have shown, uh, essentially, is that you and Emily have a lot of the same habits. Bear with me. Don't dislike an exit. Listen. You have both done some really questionable, shitty, shady, outrageous stuff on the internet. You have both made outrageous, egregious lies on the internet. But let me tell you something about Emily Artful and you. You have not changed. I don't like to really judge people on their past behavior because I feel like if you digged anywhere on the internet, you would probably find me being a jerk somewhere. You know, when we're young, like it's, it's almost like people expect that when you go to the internet you're meant to just be flourished with the ideas of fucking perfect behavior you don't need a license for the internet we all out here doing stupid shit anyway i don't like to judge people on their past but i like to understand them and see like you can really see a big pattern of growth right Whereas with you, Shannon, all of your stuff is very, very 20, 2021. Like, these things have happened and you did not address them. That shows me your behavior hasn't changed. Maybe Anthony has a habit of ending up in toxic relationships with toxic females. Emily Artful, not so toxic anymore. You're obviously still very, very toxic because you basically showed in this video that you have been creeping and stalking and this girl down to you knowing if she has a pink wall in her dad's house like do you not like even acknowledge the fact that that's how that makes you look like do you get that my hair is such a mess because of this bloody weather i can't have my hair down now when you started talking about a few inconsistencies within her oh, focus 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 a few inconsistencies in regards to um what what emily was saying about you and you found some inconsistencies in those stories i get that and i would really like to look into that if you guys want a video on that i can really do that like i'm happy to look into the inconsistencies when it comes to shannon i get that but what you've done here is basically spend two and a half hours shaming a, shaming a woman that is your boyfriend, your husband's ex. 
like you've kind of given yourself away if that makes any sense I feel like you've just given yourself away um and when she made that bit about tipster at the end I was like she kind of, sh cause that was like a real mass slip moment. Like I can't stand Tipster. Tipster's just a jackass and he's a sook. And I tried to be nice to him and whatever, but he's just a jackass and I don't care. Anyway, send the commentary bros after me. I am ready. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is when she made that comment at the end of the video about Tipster, Basically dragging his content and his work to the ground, dragging his character, and then literally dragging his appearance. That there, in that little section, showed me that Shannon has not changed. You are still an asshole, Shannon. You're an asshole. Like, and then for you to say, like, people in your DMs, like, oh, I don't care if you did or you didn't do it. Just, you know, we want you back. And you yelled at them. Like, you're just, you're not a nice person. But, I will say, right, the love you have for Anthony, boom, blows me out of the water. You will stick up for this man. Like, you stood up for him in this video, and I, that's a marriage. I, like, I can't, I can't like, I, I'm in a marriage where I would stick up for my husband in the same sort of way. So, I get it. Like, I get that love, I get that sort of thing, but I'm just wondering... Maybe you are still with Anthony because you have not grown. Emily is with another man and she has children and her life is different because she had grown. So I think you have stunted emotional growth in regards to this situation. And we know how some girls can be with exes and whatever else. Me, in the past with other boyfriends, I have been friends with the, with the ex-girlfriends and we ended up staying friends longer than I actually dated that loser anyway. So like I get that side where you can be friends and I get that side where you can't be friends where you want nothing to do with them you hate them all that sort of stuff I get it Shannon I get it but you have not done yourself any favors in regards to this at all you just look like you just ragged on another female for two hours you ragged on your husband's ex-girlfriend to for two and a half hours and prove to yourself and prove to others that you have like you might not have done certain things that she had claimed that you had like you did but you're still creepy you're still creepy you're still creepy okay so creep show up forever will be your name because you are creepy anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it this is a really really short one today i think that's because i don't really have much i don't want to beat a dead horse i don't know if i need to do a part two and like look into this further maybe i'll watch it again later and i'll find something else i need to talk about but i ain't out here trying to talk about shannon for two hours like she talked about emily arthur for two hours i just find that some of the things she even put in in that video didn't even make me think any less of emily it made me think less of shannon and i'm wondering if that is just a bias that i have here let me know down below what do you guys think i want to know what all your thoughts are i will link that video the shannon video down below so you can go check it out yourself of course let me know what you think let me know if you have it like if you want me to do a bigger deep dive on this if you want me to just leave this dead horse alone because at the end of the video shannon did say spoiler alert shannon did say she's leaving the internet now so I don't know. She did she did say that um what's it called wasn't her. Shy so shy sideshow art was not her and Odessa from that podcast that I never covered on my channel, she said that was not her. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, send a pigeon, keep the same energy, and stay tuned for different content this year. You know, I just want to chill. I just want to make content I enjoy. Um, we'll have reaction videos, funny videos, silly videos, some videos with my kids in it, um, skincare, makeup, just opinions on people i have a lindsay lohan video which i'm dying to record and put up are you guys excited for that let me know down below this lindsay lohan video i'm really excited about it ask any of my mods ask marissa i have done research i have done everything on this video i'm so excited and i know that someone did say to do a video on aaron carter that is coming too so there's a whole bunch of shit coming 
I just need to get away from the drama and the community that I'm in and I'm sick of making negative videos every single day on the internet so I kind of disappeared for a little bit but you guys will know more about that in my 2021 rewind video that is coming Mwah. thank you so much for watching bye